you know, I, I figured that that was, you know, that I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, that was unacceptable for me. I couldn't, that, I, it was just, it was bad news. And so after that, I started, you know, to really start to get to, into reading um, the Bible. And I started to look for a, uh, a church uh, to start going to. And because I went to a Christian school, I, um, you know, I had a lot of people whose families went to church every Sunday. So every Sunday I was going to like three or four churches and I was, I was just looking for the right church. You know, I heard some awesome sermons and, you know, got some, some good learning and stuff. But uh, I just don't, I don't know, there wasn't anything that was stand, sticking out to me. And um, then a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine at school had told me about, he said a friend of his, and, and this friend was, all, was, the, was the friend that couldn't go out on Friday nights. Right. And, and, and things like that, and we never knew why. And um, and he he told me his told me about a friend of his church that was a uh, that uh, I was looking to go to a church with an all black congregation, and uh, kind of a you know I was I guess you could say I was looking for like a black gospel theme. I don't know. I was just uh, I like black people, and uh, I'm not afraid to say it. And um, and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, and you know, I say, uh, I say yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. I say black because, like, I have a friend, a friend of mine. He was a Bible worker, and he's black. And he says to me, "I'm not African American. Right. I was not born in Africa. I am black." Right. Uh, he says that to me, and so I, I, I'm now, I'm not afraid. I, I know, black people are rock, black people rock. You're good. Don't worry. Yeah. About it. <laughs> I, just, I just have to make sure because you know, I don't, I don't know. You know, I know some people take things personally. I mean, no offense uh, at no, all, no, whatsoever. No. To anyone, Angus, to you, is, Angus is good. Angus is good. You're good. You're good, bro. You're good. You, you got a pass. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Good. You're good. Um, <laughs> um, so I was looking to go. I was looking to go. Uh, and he was telling this friend, of, this friend of a friend who I met once, whose name was Moses. Right. Told me about this church, and it was on Saturday, and I was like, all right. And I, the first day I went there, I went, I went by myself, and I. The message, like I walked in, I sat down, kind of in the back, right. and um, the message that the, pe the 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 pastor was preaching that day was tailor made for me. Everything about the message was me, was my life, what I needed to do, like the answers, everything was me, and it was just like it was that, and like then, like that was the church, that was my church, and then you know I. I started the Bible work at the church. Uh, Nelson Jones um, started, uh, and that's funny. Nelson Jones, the Bible worker, I'm angry. At this. Um, he started. Uh, he he came over one day randomly, uh, just out of the blue, came over and was like, "You want to have Bible study?" I was like, "Sure." And I think that day he showed me uh, what the Bible taught about hell, and I was just like, "Wow, this is this is really like this." this is really awesome, this is really interesting, this seems so much more appropriate and obvious, and it's right from the Bible, like, it was just, it was really interesting, I just kept learning uh, the basic, the basic messages of uh, the Seventh Day Adventist Church, and I was just, every single time I was learning all this new stuff, I just loved it, it was like, it was so great to, it was so clear too, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't seem like I was being trick you know of course all my family and right. not all my family but some of my family were like oh he, he's going to that SDA church those cults <laughs> those are cult. no 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 right. like trying to tell me to get out of there but like it wasn't I I I, 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 I didn't feel like I was being fooled and I just like the just like I could study it study it for myself and it was there in the Bible it was like there was no and that's what's most important it's it right was there, there in the Bible, in the Bible. it's mm -hmm. there and there's no there's no evidence for the opposing views, mm -hmm. and that's you know the the you know there was no way of getting around it. You know it was just it was and it was awesome. It, it felt it felt right. It applying it to my life like uh, starting to observe the Sabbath. Like the Sabbath is great. Like it's it's just like I can I know that it's a ble it's been an extreme blessing in my life, it's and I'm bad. so thankful for it. Yeah. And um, been keeping the Sabbath to a certain degree, not. Pro not properly, probably, but um, now I'm 100%. I, I 
sundown sundown friday sundown saturday um i you know i make sure make sure to uh keep it to the point because it's an absolute it's been a, it's been an absolute blessing in my life so you know just learning the truth is one of those things that i've that has it's it's so it's you know changed my life thoroughly and just you know given me like a whole new like wait like just every single day you know, no matter what happens in the day just it's just a great day you know because i uh, get to be a part of what's got what god is doing in this world which is which is just crazy that the creator of the universe even even is concerned or is i'm allowed to you know i'm allowed to be a part of the work recently i started taking a uh I, I took kind of a an all-inclusive evangelism class uh, in that end times like these ministries puts on and um, I just finished that recently and that was super awesome started to learn the sanctuary message and all I've been learning the prophecy and the prophecy messages and everything and of course I uh, I was I was hip to your videos uh, I, th I think even before I got I got into uh, into into the church uh, the first video that I saw was the the video about ASAP Rocky and the the effects of you know that music genre and things like that and I just been I've been you know watching watching the videos when it when it you know I just I Forerunner Chronicles I, I love watching Forerunner Chronicles all the information is so great and uh, it's just you know your 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 videos have no doubt been a blessing to me. And it's it's wild, you know. It's funny. I sent you I sent you an email uh, just a couple weeks ago, just thinking just that I could get your opinion on a few things. And then uh, Mike Johnson says that you called him mm -hmm. to get a hold of me, and now you're here in California. Praise God, like, praise God for yeah, God God is good. God is good. Like God. things like that. Like that's that's literally like you know. People see me. People see me, and they're like, "Whoa, you're Jake!" And like, I see, I see this guy. And I'm like, "Dang, man of God, forerunner, no, right no, here. No, I, no. I can, I can touch no, him. I can, no, like, no, no, no like, no, like God seriously. Good, yeah, God, God is, God is great. Like, it's just, it's like one of those things. That's, that's, that's that. I, I like that. That's what I like. Like, I mean, Jake from Two and a Half Men means nothing. He is non-existent character. He's. Two and a half men. If you watch Two and a Half Men, please stop watching Two and a Half Men. I'm on Two and a Half Men. I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it. Please uh, stop filling your head with filth. Please. It's. It's you know people say it's just entertainment. The the fact that it's entertainment. It, <laughs> it's. Do some research on the effects of television and your brain. And I promise you, you'll you'll have a decision. You'll have a decision to make when it comes to the television, and especially with what you watch on the television. Uh, it, it's bad news. It's bad news. So that's coming. I don't know if it means any more coming from me, um, but you might not have heard it otherwise. So uh, just watch out. Watch out, because the a lot of people don't like to think about how deceptive the enemy is. That's right. It's, way more he's been doing this for a lot longer than any of us have been around so we can't play around there's no there's no playing around when it comes to uh eternity let christ let christ work in your life and uh try and be a uh filter for his love because there's it's Otherwise, other in my, and for myself, if I'm not if I'm not doing his work, I really I don't want to. I I might as well just die now. I might as well you know God could take me now. God could even if I you know if I'm not doing if I'm not if I'm doing more harm than good or if I'm doing any harm, I I don't I I don't want to be here. I don't want to contribute to the enemy's plan, and uh, it's just it's it's. It's one of those things like we can if we're if we're if we're lukewarm and if we uh you know if we're behaving like the laodiceans you know it might cause more it, it is going to cause a lot more harm because people will see us and be like oh i can i can be a christian and be on a show like two and a half men i you can't you cannot be a true god-fearing person and be on a television show like that 
Uh, I know I can't. I can. I'm not okay with what I'm learning, what the Bible says, and being on that television show. So you know, just it's you go all or nothing. If I'm not ready right now, I'm ready to be ready. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I like that. Amen. So yeah. Amen. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. I don't know. You know, I, uh, I hope that whoever gets to see this, um, you know, whatever whatever I've said in my testimony, uh, whatever I said that is not what God would have me say, would be discounted <laughs> and not discounted against Him. So, uh, you know, because. Uh, by no means I'm perfect mm -hmm. and so uh, not yet anyway mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> so yeah that that's one thing I'd say you know what else what, 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 what do you think yeah. if there's anything that you could uh, say to uh, everybody out there last opportunity to say one word of right. encouragement or exhortation, what would it be? Um, the name the name of the game right now is is compromise. Compromise meet in the middle to get things done. Mm. That's what that's the name of the game right now and uh, According to the Bible, when that happens, we're no longer standing for anything. We're no longer on the right, on the on the in the, on the side of the truth, because we've you know a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump, hmm. and so you're either you're either hot or you're cold. Amen. That's you know we're. We're we're in a we're in almost a period of the Laodicean church. We really, you know, we need to pick our side now. You need to pick your side. You need to be a hundred percent on that. You need to be a hundred percent or nothing at all. You might, you know, if you're gonna be for the world, be for the world. Don't try. Don't be doing so much harm, being half in and half out. You're harming yourself and you're harming those others who might actually want to know the truth. So, uh, you know choose you this day whom you will follow. The Bible says in um, James chapter 4 and verse 4, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore shall be the friend of the world is the enemy of God. And what I really appreciate about Angus is that he's identifying with the fact that he cannot be a friend of the world. He's either going to serve God or serve this world. And he's he's taking his stand. And you're going to see that more so even as the days go forward because I'm thoroughly convicted that I'm with the brother that the Spirit of God is clearly leading. And you're going to see that in the very near future. He's taking his stand on the right. He's walked away from it. You need to make a decision. What are you going to do? This is your opportunity. As always, this is a forerunner. It's Angus as well. Whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth.